Indiana, how are you guys doing? We are here in Baton Rouge. I hope that is how you say it. It's not Baton Rouge or something like that. Something bougie. Something batoony. I don't know. Anyways, how are you guys doing? My name is Brandon Taylor. This is my brother Jake. What's and up? today you are fortunate enough to enter a super awesome episode of my fortunate life choices. Today we are eating a five star meal in Louisiana. And I did a lot of research and I found out that Cajun food is the type of food that Louisiana is known for. What better place to go than a five-star Cajun place, right? So this place is called Perrain Seafood. It has just about five stars, 4.7 to be exact, with 1,350 reviews, which is pretty good because I did do a lot of research too, and there's not a lot of five-star places, and if there is, they only have like 15 reviews, so that doesn't really matter. That doesn't count. But let's hop right into it and let's see what the reviews are like for this place, shall we? We got the whole shebang platter to share and everything was amazing. All of the fried items were perfectly crisp on the outside and succulent on the inside and all had distinctive flavors. So it was wonderfully varied and diverse plates. And the alligator was the most flavorful. Ooh, I'm Ooh. down for alligator. We can get some alligator. I ain't never seen that on a menu except for in Australia, and that was wild. Great local joint. Food was delicious for a very reasonable price. Tried grilled oysters, seafood gumbo, and the Delacroix, which were all very tasty. I'm, I mean, look at this photo. Everyone's talking about these grilled oysters, so we're gonna have to try these while we're here. If you guys remember in San Francisco, we did have some like really fresh oysters yeah, there, so and good. those things changed my life. I never really was a huge fan of oysters until that day. Yeah. I'm gonna try my best southern accent on this next one, so please, don't take offense to this. I'm gonna do my best. Here we go now, folks. We just here passing through Baton Rouge and hit up Yelp. This place had many, 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 many great reviews. To our luck, it was on the way. There were so many posts about how they regretted not getting this or that, so we didn't make the same mistake. We started with the hush puppies and a half dozen char grilled oysters. The hush puppies were probably the best I ever had. They were cooked perfectly. <laughs> they were crispy but soft. I never had a char grill oyster, but I still be sure I got them again. They were almost like a type of Rockefeller, but not. They were in a type of gravy with cheese and they were absolutely delicious. Do you notice how when I'm reading this, my face up here like this? Anyways, this, look at the food that they posted, all right? Uh, we got some fried catfish, southern style. We got barbecue shrimp. That's like a gumbo kind of looks yeah. like. Yeah. Looks amazing. We got char grilled oysters. Oh my god, Ooh. I've never had char grilled oysters, they but those look delicious. They literally put that in the, like, I don't even know how they do that. I would think it would be an oven, not a grill, but like they just put cheese on top and let it all mm. melt. Amazing experience. Food was delicious. We drove all the way from Houston and it was worth it. Highly recommended, fresh and tasty. And if you don't know, Houston is four hours away because we just drove here yesterday and it yeah. was four hours and that's not stopping. No. If you stop, it's gonna be longer. So this place must be good if these people drove four hours yeah. for it. So without any further ado, Let's hop on our saddles and let's get on out of here, partner. Yeah, I'm riding you, daddy. Oh, God. Please, no help. All right, so the overall look of this place is very cool. It's very cute. It's very homey, very southern. We just moved outside because the lighting was a lot better, but I'm going to punch in some shots from the inside of this place so you can really get a feel of this place. It's very homey. It's a, definitely a place that you would bring your family for like a Sunday lunch. Right after church, you come here, you enjoy with the family, and that's really what this vibe is here. I see everyone with their families. Everyone's having a good time, and I really do admire that about Louisiana is that it's southern. Southern hospitality at its absolute finest. Definitely. So we quickly looked through the menu. There's some awesome stuff on here. I think we literally have to get one of everything. Just There is so much variety on here. You can go from having like char grilled oysters to having alligator to having crab and corn bisque soup. You can go to having uh, Caesar salad with fried oysters all the way to New Orleans style barbecue shrimp to catfish to a 14 ounce bone in pork chip. There's so much different options on on here so we really are gonna have to narrow it down because the prices they aren't the cheapest either they're $20 a plate so we can't get one of everything Jake unless you want to have a $2,000 meal right here you know what let's wait until the, that lady gets here and let's ask her what she recommends all I saw on the Yelp was like these appetizers that we had to try definitely can we get the, the fried alligator and the charred rolled oysters. We'll just do the half dozen of those. Okay. First initial look test. These things look phenomenal, man. These charred grilled oysters, my mouth is watering. They came served with garlic bread. I didn't know that that's how you eat it. Normally we eat oysters, we spray lemon on it. I'm not gonna do that here because that just doesn't seem the vibe. Then we got these, what are these? 
Oh, this fried is the alligator. fried alligator. I totally forgot. It looks like some sort of popcorn shrimp. And I'm guessing these things are gonna taste amazing. I don't know what sauce this is. It's like probably like a tart sauce or something. I don't know. I think I wanna jump into these first because boy, am I excited. I don't think I've ever been this excited to eat an oyster. Get a good shot of these for sure. My mouth is watering. I'm just gonna scoop it in my mouth though. Here we go. You're taking too long. Oh, what a champ. Oh, wow. It's like, it's like just the right amount of saltiness where it's like good. And usually when you have an oyster going on in your throat, it's super slimy and super cold. Wow. The fact that it's hot gives it a whole nother flavor that I didn't really think was possible with an oyster. Well, it's definitely like a cooked oyster. So it almost tastes like a mussel in a way. Yeah. Have you ever had baked green mussels? Absolutely delicious. It's kind of a similar taste, but it's actually really delightful. All the cheese and stuff like that is not overpowering at all, but you almost don't even taste it. You don't the even cheese. taste it. It's like a slight hint of cheese. I'm gonna put it on the garlic bread mm. and see if this doesn't mix. This is good. The garlic bread's the wave. Perfectly soft garlic bread. Usually when you have garlic bread, it's really crunchy and really hard. This is cooked where it's perfected in the softness. We usually take a couple like minutes to do the, the before the shots, so we get all those nice, beautiful shots. This is still so hot. It's still so hot. Which is like a definite a plus, you know? Definitely a plus. Definitely. You gotta soak up these fried alligator with some fresh lemon because who doesn't like a little bit of lemon added to your meal? Fried alligator. Whoa. It's almost like a mix of popcorn shrimp with like chicken. The seasoning on the batter is so good and it's so like literally it just falls off. This Cajun seasoning is so good. The batter is like Jake said falling off. It's literally falling off and the inside it almost tastes like it was like cooked in lemon too because that just yeah. that little squirt of lemon Definitely. couldn't have given this much power. It's delicious. <laughs> Deli thank you. All right I'm gonna dip it this time. I took mine apart so this is what it looks like inside. Piece of alligator. This is amazing. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce now. Oh, it's a mustard sauce. Mm. It's like it's like Dijon mustard. It's a Dijon mustard aioli. Oh, this is some next level taste, man. I haven't had this many different flavors because you have the Cajun flavoring, and then you dip it into the mustard, and it's like that. That spicy has a it's kick like a, to it's it. It's a kick. It's not a re regular yellow mustard. It's the spicy one. Look at this is so soft. I dipped it in there and we lost the whole breading to it. Mm. Wow. wow. That doesn't even need sauce. Like, it doesn't. This is so good, man. We're like spitting your food out of everything. <laughs> I'm, I'm like my mouth is drooling as I'm eating it. Wow. All right. Well, which one's better? I think the, the alligator is alligator way better. Is so much better. All right. Let's cut back when the we'll food cut back goes. when the main food is here. We're gonna eat <laughs> I'm doing this like four times and people keep coming in here, but let's do it real quick. You got a nice little toilet. I really hate when they're home toilets though, and they're not like industrial toilets, because when I eat this good food, it never tends to go down. They got a nice little urinal over here with a little pee pad, you know, like if you miss, it doesn't go well on the floor, it doesn't get all slippery, you know? Let's get back to this food, I'm so hungry. For how tender this is, I thought it was gonna be so tough. Yes. Whenever you see an alligator, you think these are like the toughest reptiles in the in the water, the lakes, you know? The, these things are tough, they look tough. When I've ever watched a video with alligator being like prepared, it always looks like, damn, that's some tough meat, that's gonna be chewy. This was the complete opposite Definitely. of it. Definitely, I mean, we did try crocodile in Thailand. And, or... and, but now that I think about that, it's, it wasn't that chewy either then. It tasted more like chicken. This tasted more like it came from the water, and that's because yeah. this is alligator, I don't know. I, I've had both now, and I now know that this tastes more like it came from the water. Wait, that question, question. Like chicken. one of them comes from the sea and one comes from like the lakes, right? I don't know. The main difference is the snout shape. Alligators have a wider U-shaped snout, while crocodiles' front ends are more pointed and V-shaped. Home-based crocodiles tend to live in saltwater habits, while alligators hang out in freshwater marshes and lakes. So you're right. Honestly, I prefer alligators and crocodiles, and that's from someone that's eaten both. Yeah. And we have some awesome girls come over here. This girl's got an awesome shirt. Say your names to the camera. I'm Shayla. I'm Madison. And these lovely girls came an hour and a half away to come visit me. They found me on Instagram, on my story, right? Is that how you guys did it? How'd you guys track me down? 
I recommend it's like the place when I searched it up on Yelp. You, you know what? You should apply to be in the FBI. You got an eye, girl. <laughs> it's so great meeting you guys. And she bought your calendar. Oh, she bought the calendar. And this is her mom. <laughs> yeah. I said, I said, are you, is she allowed to look at that? I didn't realize what I was getting. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I took them! <laughs> we just got our foods. The preparation looks outstanding. I got the black drum fish and it looks so good. You can actually even see the flakes that the lady was talking about when she told us about it. You can see the flakes of the skin of the fish right underneath it. It is completely still like together intact. Like just hopped out the ocean and it looks delicious. I also got some dirty rice. I didn't actually know what dirty rice is, but it looks like it's rice mixed with like ground beef and it looks really good. And then we got this super soft tender bread that I could literally sleep on oh had God. I didn't have a pillow at my hotel. <laughs> and I got the pon the poncha train. I think that's how you say it. Choo choo. Yeah, pretty much. I got these mashed potatoes, but they're not white mashed potatoes. They're, they look like they got red potatoes and they mashed them all up and they put a bunch of different Cajun spices and stuff in there because it looks awesome. And then we have over here the fish. I'm not too sure how it's prepared. It looks like it's some sort of Looks like it was breaded and then breaded bread. and yeah, fried. Which I was trying to be healthy, so goddamn, I guess I didn't order the right thing. <laughs> on top, there's it's a caper hollandaise sauce. Not too sure on the preparation of how they actually make it. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna spread some lemon because you know I like to put lemon on anything that came out of the sea. This is a saltwater fish, by the way, and it's got to be amazing. Wow, I just cut mine off and it literally like looks so juicy in there. Oh, like, look at that. Let me get a little. Oh my god, mine comes right off of this. Oh wow, you just dig right in. Wow. I need to try a little, a little bit of sauce on it. Yeah, mine's mine's good. It just I feel like it's missing something. It's missing a lot of lemon, I think. But let me I just put a little bit more lemon, so let me taste this. Oh okay. Mmm. Right. The sauce definitely helps on this. It does need lemon though. That that's that's our Mexican side coming yeah. in. I think this is really good. It breaks right off of the the bone that's inside of it, you literally just eat it like it's on a cob. Like, I don't know what you'd eat like it. You literally just dig right into it. Corner of the cob. Literally, like, I could grab this thing and bite into it. It's super tender, rips right off of the body, right off of the bone. It's really good. I think what it would have been a little better is if it is doused in lemon. I feel like it, it's good with a squirt of lemon, but I think I need a couple more lemons because it is a little dry. But, you know, that's the Louisiana style. It's Cajun, you know what I mean? It's supposed definitely. to be a little bit more dry. And I actually, it's good. It's definitely something that I haven't had. I've never had this fish before. That's awesome. It's really good. Let's, let's, let's do a little switch around and try each other's now. All right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. Wow. It's so fluffy. Yeah, it's very fluffy. Dude, yours is like a, like a cheesy on top. It's like cheese. It's really good though, right? And it's like really tender. From the initial look of this, it doesn't look like it's gonna be super tender. It no. looks like it's gonna be like a hard, crunchy yeah. fish. Yeah. But it's so tender and yeah. so good. So good. I'm curious about what these mashed potatoes are gonna taste like for. So. Have you had any yet? I have not tried them. Interesting. It tastes like a normal ma a mashed potato, but less buttery, less salty, more Cajun. Mm. Like it's just it's. You know, they didn't put any salt, they didn't put butter, they just cajuned up these potatoes. Yeah, they're not completely mashed. They and still have some, like, little bit chunks in there. Yeah, and like, it also has the those. skin thrown in, yeah. and that's actually they, they said They said, we're not skinning these things, we're smashing them up. I'm gonna try the dirty rice, because I'm a dirty boy, and I love this dirty rice. Yeah! That's good. This rice is so good. You get the chunks of meat, and it's also served in Cajuns. So, like, there's a little bit of spice to it. Everything here is Cajun style. Maybe that's why, because it's a Cajun restaurant. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> you know what else I think is really cool is like everything tastes different, but it all has that same spice mm -hmm. that you feel at the end, like the undertone of it all, which just like brings it all like circle around. And you're like, yo, this is Cajun, this is Southern food, but they all taste differently. Like this tastes differently. Exactly. The textures are differently, but it's so but good. The initial Cajun spice is what ties it all together to make it seem like it's a meal that goes together. You know what I mean? Definitely. Like everything that you eat with this all tastes like this deserves to be in the same family. I'm gonna try this bread real quick before we pause. Oh my God. This is like buttered bread already. Like it's like cooked in butter. But it's so soft and the outside is a little crunch. This is to die for. I'm coming, I'm coming, I gotta switch batteries. Overall, you've had a couple bites of just about everything. Wait, you gotta try that bread. Mmm. 
<laughs> it's like nothing I've ever tasted before. Oh my god. You know what it is? Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Back when I was 16, I used to work at Olive Garden making bread. They gave me a little brush with a bucket of butter, and you just go. Boop, 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 boop. They had a they had a damn roller of butter back there because this it, thing is so it's good, so good, and it almost gives me vibes of Olive Garden, Olive Garden uh, breadsticks. No free promo. Olive Garden. Olive Garden <laughs> breadsticks. Yeah, but it's like, soft. but it's better. It's crispy, but it's not like overdone. Like they right. must have a timer that they like have this on one minute, perfect. thirty seconds every single time you pull them out. For example, it's, so it's like when you're cooking marshmallows out there and you make it that perfect golden brown, where it's like a nice hardened crust, but the inside is still melty cool. This is just that. Like on the outside, it literally will crack a little bit when I touch it, but the inside is soft as a baby's bottom. And I know we shouldn't compare that to a baby's bottom. That was weird. I could sleep on this. Baby's bottom. <laughs> so you've had just about everything here. Yeah. You've had mine, you've had yours. What do you rate this place? Including the appetizers, what would you rate this place if you were to give it a star? A one to five. It's a hard one. The food is really, really good and I can't compare it to anything else I've ever had. But I haven't tried other stuff right. food. But from everything about the service, she ripped the box up and put it under our table because it was rocking. Yep. I think it's really good. I, I, I'm gonna give that 4.5 stars. I'm gonna have to agree with you here. 4.5, 4.6, it's very, very good. Although it's just very hard to give it a five out of five stars without us having to try all of the US right now. Cause we're, that's what we're on the search for. That's what our series is about. We're trying to find the best restaurant. We're trying to see where the five out of five is. And you know what? Maybe after we try everything, this would change to a five out of five. We have to come back to you on that because right now we can't tell you it's a five out of five because we don't know every other place. But it is a solid 4.5, 4.6. Absolutely delicious. So the bill just came here. They did tell me that they took off one of the appetizers for us, so that is really awesome. Thank you so much for that. We did have to order one of the fishes twice to get a thumbnail, so it is gonna be $20 extra. But if we take that off mentally and we add in the appetizers, it would be about probably 70 bucks. This says 80. Keep in mind, we did have to buy a $20 fish twice, so that's why it's up to 80, and we did get an appetizer taken off. So it kind of equals out to around the same price with tax, so about an $80 meal. Was it worth it? 100%. 100, 150%, this is so good. And I understand why all the, they have such high ratings and so many reviews. There's right. 1,300 reviews, totally makes sense. It makes total sense, this place is really good, it's homey, it's great for the whole family. Definitely enjoy it. Oh boy, am I full. God, this is probably one of the best southern places that I have ever had. So if you were in the Baton Rouge area and you want to try it for yourself, it is called Parents and it is absolutely to die for. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please smash the thumbs up button. As always, join the Taylor family by hitting the subscribe button and turning on post notifications. And please do me one big favor before you guys exit this video. Have a wonderful day, smile, and be awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Post. Peace out, bye. Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.